Artemis is designed by Axel Schmid as a fast but comfortable sailing canoe. Compared to a canoe that is used only for paddling, the hull has more rocker. This means it is more rounded lengthwise. The small skeg helps to track straight while paddling. The hull is relatively narrow, at 77 centimeters, and is 4 meters 85 long. The hull weight is well under 30 kilos. While traveling, the total weight is under 70 kilos. This includes the full rig, luggage, water, food, and fuel. The boat is a true 50-50 sailing canoe. It is meant to paddle just as well as it can sail. While paddling, I can reach 4 knot top speed. Under sail, it is 12 knot. But on an average camping trip, my daily average is about 2.5 knot. Typically, I make days between 20 and 50 kilometers. I wanted the leeboard and rudder to have a near perfect shape. So I have not made these myself. The leeboard and rudder are used catamaran parts. An automatic release cleat keeps the leeboard down, but lets it come up in shallow water. Elastic holds the rudder down. It comes up in shallow water. This rudder steers very well, but it tends to break, so I will replace it. The lug sail allows to quickly douse the sail and rig. For example, this helps to go under a low bridge. I've put a third reef in, which allows me to sail in winds at over 25 knots. To reef is easy and simple. A loop at the front of the sail goes around the boom. Also, there is a loop at the back of the sail. This goes into the shackle. A dog bone, is pulled through the clue of the sail. When you are reefed, this system allows to still tighten or make the sail fuller by using the outhaul. My mast is a stiff windsurf mast. I cut off the lowest meter, sawed it in half lengthwise and stuck it back on the new lowest meter. Because windsurf masts are most flexible at the bottom, this ensures the mast is stiff enough. Masts of lug sails should not bend, only the yard should have a little flexibility. The plank is only used in flat water and with a stable wind. It helps to increase stability and give more power. When you tack, you shift it and fix it on the other side. Using the plank is often the cause of a well-deserved swimming and capsize lesson. Artemis has big airbags front and back, with pull noodles on the side. This system is tried and tested. 41 seconds after a capsize, the boat can be upright and sailing. With a good level of fitness, you can capsize and re-enter four to five times until exhaustion sets in. It takes another four to five minutes with a four-litre baler to empty the boat out. The self-baler is great when the boat planes downwind. Things get very wet on the canoe. The self-baler starts to work at 4.5 knots of boat speed. Under the front deck, there is a storage bag for water, food, the GoPro, and other items. Under the aft deck, there is a neoprene bolero of 7 mm thick. This comes in very handy when a squall comes. My luggage is stored in a box which is called a wanigan. It is completely waterproof. The one again doubles as a seat while underway. I use floats for extra safety at sea and to give me a rest on longer trips. The floats allow me to visit the bathroom, keep the boat stable when reefing, check the map and have lunch. 
They are bought for 80 euros via Amazon. I love and hate them. They should ideally never touch the water. They have never failed me and give me peace of mind on bigger water. They are easy to take off and can be stored inside the canoe. But after rough use for three years, the connections are starting to wear out. They slow me down because the underside is too fat and they are too close to the water. Also, I think they are ugly. So I have ordered plans for new ones from Michael Storer. They are plywood and will cut through the wave tops better. I have now used and developed this canoe for seven years. It did well to travel safe and fast in many countries. Artemis has also helped me win many races. <laughs>